hello! Perfidious Pete here. Back for the main event as Terry Hulk Hogan finishes his retraining and gets ready to show some aliens what Hulkamania is all about, brother! In XCOM 2. Let's just hope that, unlike me, you little Hulkamaniacs watching out there haven't ever seen an episode of Thunder in Paradise because even a single viewing of that show will forever destroy your ability to suspend disbelief in a work of fiction. It stars Hulk Hogan as a resort-owning mercenary single dad who solves crimes, fights smugglers and pirates in a super high-tech speedboat. Yep, oh, no, no, I, I said that. That sentence is literally true. And that show will scar you forever. I'm sure some of you don't believe me. You're saying, Pete, that can't possibly be a thing. That sentence reads like a spec script found among the papers of a spree killer during the investigation into what caused him to snap, or alternatively, the early works in a notebook of like a nine-year-old Michael Bay. But, you know, rest assured, Thunder in Paradise, it's totally real. So go ahead, Google it. I mean, you're gonna, I know you're gonna. I, I, I can't tempt you like this and then talk you out of it. You're gonna Google it, but I can't, I can't stop you. You're going to ruin your ability to enjoy anything ever again. But once it's in your brain, go ahead, do it. And remember, though, I tried to warn you away from this. I tried to give you an opportunity to learn from my wisdom, my pain. But uh, you wouldn't do it. And if you're really, really lucky, really lucky, you'll get to see the episode of Thunder in Paradise where that same mercenary single dad solved crimes, fought smugglers and pirates in his super high-tech speedboat while wearing an eye patch, like a straight up classical pirate black eye patch with the bandana. I mean, the bandana stayed too. He didn't, he didn't get rid of the bandana. It was a bandana and an eye patch, which honestly I feel is kind of a missed opportunity because he could have got a twofer. What if he had just pulled the bandana down over one eye and turned it into like an impromptu eye patch? That would have been slightly less ridiculous. Ah. <sighs> Thunder in Paradise has my destroyed, you know, has destroyed my ability to feel joy or no pleasure. The Avatar Project just got a minor breakthrough, even though we just stopped them and got reduction. Commander, the are I, you know, honestly, I've, I've lost the ability to care anymore. We got four pips of reduction. The aliens immediately got one back, but I'm going to make contact here in India. We finally have arm to the teeth. This is beautiful. Gotten it, bonus for Asia should now be online. That's going to give me arm to the teeth, and it's going to be time for us to install some fairly significant weapon upgrades here. Going to have some... You know, we're going to be spending some time doing a little trooper maintenance, but it's we, we got to do it. Arm to the teeth is possibly the best continent bonus in the game. All primary weapons gain an additional upgrade slot. It is really, really good. Let's let Terry Hogan finish his training, and then I think we'll go do that. What else were we working on? Oh, right, a radio beacon. Let's go finish that up. This should give the Hulkamaniac man a chance to, you know, redefine what Hulkamania means to you and me. Because at this point in his career, I really think Hulkamania could use a bit of an overhaul. There he is. Terry Hulk Hogan, Grenadier. Let's view soldier. So let's get you fixed here. Let's get your Hulkamania in a better position to run wild because I gotta say the last time we took you out of the barn it definitely ran mild. You have volatile mix as an innate ability which is fantastic. Your area of effect on grenades increased by one tile. That's huge for a grenadier. There's no way we're not taking heavy ordnance. It's possibly one of the grenadier's signature abilities. Boosted cores is also really good. One extra damage from grenades. It's way better than suppression or free smoke grenades so yes. Will to survive? No. Center mass is intriguing, but a flashbang that actually can do damage. Explosive grenades do one damage. We get the boosted core. We flip that on a flashbang. We get one damage out of a flashbang. In last episode, Clint Eastwood, the Papa Bear, betrayed us, whereas Hogan would have gotten a kill in that. Biggest booms? It, it, it's a must. We gotta, we gotta go biggest booms. There's no reason to take dense smoke if we didn't take smoke grenades. Also, defensive grenades and stuff, I just I don't trust them. Dead enemies can't hurt you forever. Enemies with even a tiny chance to hit you can still hit you. Last time we took Traverse Fire, and I think it was a mistake. This is the whole reason we retrained Hulk Hogan. Traverse Fire is bad. Tactical Sense, conversely, 
makes some sense. But Sting Grenade, since we do have this Flashbang, having a chance to stun enemies, is that more useful than 5 defense for every enemy we can see up to a maximum of 20? You know, I just I don't like defensive abilities. I don't like them. I would rather go with the Sting Grenades and stun those enemies. Have a chance to stun them. It's got to be at least as good as the extra defense we would get from Tactical Sense, and we can use it offensively. Rapid deployment is pretty interesting. Does this have a cooldown? Activate this ability before throwing or launching a support grenade. Oh, it only works for support grenades, so only that would only benefit flashbangs or smokers. Well, then we're just going to take Salvo because Salvo works with everything. Sorry, rapid deployment, but by comparison, you're garbage. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable that Hulkamania is now ready. Fully geared and prepared to run wild all over. This is going to be like a flashback to the heyday in the mid-80s when every WrestleMania invariably featured Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant going at it. Not that kind of going at it. That's more of a Pornhub sort of thing than a mid-80s. Come on, the mid-80s was a time of sexual repression. Homosexuality wasn't allowed on TV then because it wasn't cool. Not saying that's good. I'm just saying that's the way things were. It was objectively bad. But it's the way things were. You'd have never seen an on-screen kiss between Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Though I have to imagine Andre the Giant seemed like a pretty likable fellow. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a kiss or two exchange between the Hulk and Andre backstage. After a great match, just like, you know, Andre the Giant was French, too, so he definitely was probably, if nothing else, doing, like, the cheat kissing thing. Plus three Avenger power, and now we have to figure out what we want to do with the rest of our lives. We could make contact down in New Indonesia, but before we do anything, let's go handle some weapon upgrades. We got a bunch to do. Let's just get them out of the way. It's going to eat up some time, yes, but, you know, sometimes sacrifices had to be made. So who's our priority? Well, Morgan Freeman is a priority because he is XCOM's greatest killer. Superior Laser Sight, Advanced Expanded Magazine. We have not... We have one Superior Expanded Magazine. I can't think of anyone better to give that to than Morgan Freeman. But here's the thing. Demi Moore also exists. And I don't think Demi Moore's shotgun has an upgrade in its secondary slot at all. Is that the case, Demi? No, it has something, but I don't remember what it is. Let's take a look at your weapon. You have a repeater, which we have gotten phenomenally good utility out of, actually. So I think we give the Superior Expanded Magazine to Demi more. We let her keep the repeater. Have we got a better repeater? We do not. We have an advanced hair trigger, a superior hair trigger, which is intriguing. Or alternatively, a superior auto loader, which is equally intriguing, but we've gotten such good results out of that repeater, I just can't take it away from her. Demi Moore rolls natural 20s. I say we, you know what, we're going for the full crit build with Demi Moore. If she rolls natural 20s, we let her roll the 20s. Also, Clint Eastwood, I'm going to need your gun. You can get my gun when you can pry it from my cold, dead... Well, okay, I guess today's that day, Clint Eastwood. It's a good thing your fingers are cold and dead. Also, you're in the hospital, so you can't really stop me. Uh-huh, I beat up a hospital patient, and we're going to give that gun to Terry Hulk Hogan. Because, hey, pirates, smugglers, other ne'er-do-wells, those people, you know, they need thwarting. Who else, if not Terry Hogan, is going to thwart them? So, Stallone, let's take a look at options for you. You only have an advanced stock. we got to have a superior stock, right? Really? We do not have a superior stock. I'm completely flummoxed by that. You also have a scope, which I'm not sure why. Advanced hair trigger, superior hair trigger. Um, We have so many superior auto loaders, we could give one to pretty much everybody. You know what? Sure. Let's throw that in there. We won't mess with any of the rest of this stuff. We should really go to... You know what else we should do? Hold on. Before we finish doing any of this stuff, let's go to the black market and see if there are any other weapon upgrades available. We have 919 intel. Call me crazy, but I think we could spare a little. Especially when we have, what, a 1,000 alloys roughly and 700 Illyrium. We are never going to use this stuff. Man, the scavenger perk is just borderline broken. Sell inventory. Well, if only I needed supplies, I might consider it. A superior scope? Yes. A superior expanded magazine? I mean, hell, why not? Superior hair trigger? Sure, I'll take it. 
Uh, Dr. Malchin Han, scientist. I'm tempted to take him just because I can afford it, but I'm not going to. Superior focus. I think is like a willpower bonus, but also gives you bonus aim. I don't know if we need it or not. How much? In, it's 45. Who cares? At 45 intel, we'll just go Warren Buffett method here. We can afford to buy whatever we want. It doesn't matter. We're going to make that much back in interest payments before our next payment comes due. We can't even spend our money fast enough. There's just not enough stuff left to buy. We're making interest faster than we can spend the interest on our savings. Super, okay, that, that seems acceptable for Stallone, then. Um, who's next? Bruce Willis. Well, die soft. We could get you some manner of weapon upgrade. You have a superior stock and an advanced hair trigger. Why don't we give this weapon to Sylvester Stallone, then? Also, how did you get this gun? Here, we're gonna okay, we're gonna swap this around a little bit. Give me give me this scram gun back. That's gonna go on Sylvester Stallone then, because it's definitely better for Sylvester. So let's give him this one with the superior stock and the advanced hair trigger. And then let's give him some other alternative weapon upgrade. The reason we do this, Bruce Willis almost never actually uses his weapon. The superior scope, superior expanded magazine, advanced scope, advanced expanded magazine. I say we just give him an auto loader. So superior stock, advanced hair trigger, superior auto loader. That's got Stallone fully sorted. Now, back to old Bruce Dysoft Willis. We should give... You know, he's not even going on this mission anyway, so let's take away all of your toys. I'm sorry, Bruce, but uh, Betty White's going to be borrowing that. We may as well upgrade the right person. Jamie Lee Curtis, I kind of feel like maybe we should respec you. We have not been using you... We've really not been using you at all. Mostly because there's nothing good for us to do with you. A superior expanded magazine is intriguing for Jamie Lee, but I think we'll just go with the auto loader. Although she's going to waste a lot of reloads because she has death from above. You know what? When we change her build around, death from above is going to be way less relevant for reloads. I think we will retrain Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm trying to figure out a way to make a sharpshooter useful. I just haven't come up with a method yet. So what do we want to give you? Auto loader would be reasonable. A hair trigger would also be reasonable. There's a chance we could get like three shots or even four shots. I don't know if a hair trigger would stack with close encounters though. It probably doesn't. That would actually be a better thing for Demi Moore. Let's give you an auto loader because reloads always take an action and wasting Morgan Freeman's actions is a waste of time. Yeah, you're goddamn right, Pete. Wasting Morgan Freeman's time. Morgan Freeman, I hate to say it, Pete, but I don't necessarily have a great deal of time left on this crazy planet of ours, and I really feel like maybe wasting Morgan Freeman's time is not the best investment you could possibly make. Betty White does not have a PCS module. That sucks. We're going to give her this old sort of shitty scram gun. We'll give her the fusion axe. Because whatever our next mission is, Betty White's going on it. We'll probably give her the serpent armor too, which means we really only need to give her a proximity mine. And we may as well do that while we're at it. Hey, Bruce, can you take off the ridiculous Ralphie from A Christmas Story pink funny suit, please? Wherever the hell... Where, where the hell are you, Bruce? 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 Yeah. I would think you would be eager to get out of it, Bruce. Shouldn't you be like, P yes, please, for the love of God, take the serpent suit away from me. I don't ever want to see it again. Don't bring it back under any circumstances. For the love of God, save me. You seem remarkably reluctant to part with. It. Sort of like that blues band of yours, which you seem strangely fond of. William Shatner. Well, his beam cannon is definitely going to need a weapon upgrade of some variety. It's getting something. It's already got a superior scope and a superior expanded magazine. I don't know what else we would put on this that would make it better. A hair trigger would be really good, actually. So would an auto loader, though. Let's go auto loader for Bruce and then maybe for Dane Judy Dench. We will swap it out. Roger Moore, you ain't getting shit. Judy Dench, I think we'll give you the weapon upgrade. You got superior expand. Okay, superior scope. I think we give you the hair trigger. Uh, in defense of queen and country, I have been known to get a little rowdy every now and then. One might even say that Dane Judy Dench has been known to have a bit of a hair trigger. So what does this actually do? 
Superior focus is straight up just willpower. Well, that's really shitty. I'm not. I'm not even gonna slot that. Um, what? Why do you not have? You do have a weapon. Advanced repeater, advanced expanded magazine. What else can we cram into this bad boy? The superior laser sights really need to be put on our shotguns. The scope? Yeah, scopes are really good, and we do... Is it really good? We don't often shoot with our... We, we almost never, in fact, shoot. Although we will be shooting more now that we have salvo. So yeah, maybe a scope is the right way to go. Let's give him the scope. What else have you got on this bad boy? And regular expanded magazine and an advanced repeater. Um, Yeah, that, that's, that's actually a respectable little weapon. Shouldn't that repeater be on a Harrison Ford, though? I mean, he gets more shots than anybody else. He has an advanced scope and a superior hair trigger. Do we have another repeater? I would love to get a repeater on this bad boy. Can't do it. All right, let's make sure... I know I'm spending a little bit of time doing this. I want to make sure Demi Moore has a expanded magazine as well. That's really the only thing we other we want on Demi's gun. The reason we need expanded magazines on these troopers is because they spend a lot of... Uh, they no, I don't, want to ch I don't want to change her weapon. They spend a lot of their actions firing on other people's turns, so she's already good. Superior laser sight, superior expanded magazine. Okay, there's nothing else we can do. I really want to get that repeater on Harrison Ford. Maybe we swap Harrison... I mean, Harrison Ford is our best single-target shooter with a rifle. Let's take away his weapon. What's it got? An advanced scope and a superior hair trigger. Yeah, we're taking that. I'm taking that back. And the, the gun that Hulk Hogan has... That's going to be Harrison Ford's new gun. And your new gun is going to be the old one. We have a plasma rifle with a superior stock and a scope. Plasma rifle with an advanced scope and a superior hair trigger. Okay, so this one is yours. And then you need another weapon upgrade. So we should put literally whatever we can find in this last slot. Advanced scope, superior hair trigger. I don't want to waste either of these. I, I, the thing I would like to put in here is ideally probably going to be just a repeater for Hogan. So I think maybe we don't waste that. Let's give Harrison Ford... Yeah, we'll give Harrison Ford... The one with the repeater. It's got the expanded magazine and a superior scope. And I'm thinking maybe we replace that magazine with the scope. Although Harrison Ford does fire a lot of shots. And some of his shots do take more than one bullet. This mm, I'm having trouble coming to a decision. Oh, jeez. For the love of God, Pete. Would you just fucking do something already? Like 15 minutes into this episode, and you haven't done shit. You haven't done shit. We could give you an experience. Uh, it, it, hair trigger? Bonus shots? Bonus actions are really good. You know what? I'm going for the bonus action. Let's give him the opportunity to empty that weapon and give him the most possible chances to make that advanced repeater work for us. And that's it. I'm done dicking around now. I've wasted enough of your time and my time screwing around with weapon upgrades. Let's go... What, what else are we doing? Oh, we got to make contact with Indonesia, right? Um, black site coordinates. We don't have contact with South Africa either. Huh. So let's go make contact with new Indonesia. This is going to cost us 80 intel of our infinite supply of intel. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. Oh, well, we should do that then, Lily. I'll just build another comm facility. At this point, I really, really, really don't care. Do we have enough power to do that? Let's take a quick look. We should because didn't we just investigate something that gave us three power? I believe that we did. Yeah, we've... Okay. So, does this facility take more than three power? It does not. Resistance comms, then. All built up. We don't have a square to spare. Just like a terrible, terrible Seinfeld sketch. Hey, here's something that Perfidious Pete wants to know. I had this thought the other day while I was thinking about things, as I rarely do. But I was thinking about this. How come everybody always talks? Why? There's a lot of Seinfeld chatter out there in the world. People are like, oh, Seinfeld was the, it was a great sitcom. It was a fantastic show. Seinfeld, Seinfeld, Seinfeld. Where is all the love for the Drew Carey show? That's what Perfidious Pete wants to know. Drew Carey, that show was friggin' brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Drew Carey never gets any credit. 
None. Is it because he went on to host The Price is Right? Is that why? Is it because nobody wants to remember that once upon a time, the host of The Price is Right had a sitcom that was hilariously ingenious? Sure, the meme stuff was like cheap humor and maybe not that fun for, you know, for, you know, making fun of somebody who had an unusual style of dress. But the meme crap aside, the rest of that show was amazing. Buzz Beer, the beer of attainable women? Who doesn't want that? Show was genius. Brilliant. So we got the Shadow Chamber, Crystal Soldier, Super Heavy Mac, Elite Lancer, Advent Sentinel, Sectopod, and the Sidewinder Elite. This really shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's going to get us a scientist we don't really care about. What dark event does that counter? I wasn't even paying attention. I'm still... Oh, Viper Rounds. I don't give a shit about Viper Rounds. Alien Infiltrator. This I don't like at all. We're going to do this one. 254 supplies, which we absolutely don't need, but I don't really feel like having to kill a bunch of faceless. Sectoid Commander. Intriguing. Been a while since we've seen one of those, and they haven't ever really done anything other than get their wigs immediately split. If only Dolly Parton was ready, we could maybe try and mind control one and see what they're capable of. Elite Lancer, a Mech Longbow, a Sectopod, a Sidewinder, an Elite, and a Hive Queen who's just begging to have Demi Moore blow her in half. I still feel guilty about the fact that not once in this campaign did we get Sigourney Weaver the opportunity to kill herself a Hive Queen. It's, it's, it would have been too perfect, man. That should be, by the way, Mod Makers, Long War Studios, take note. That should be hard-coded into this game. If there is a Hive Queen on a map and a trooper named Sigourney Weaver, or, alternatively, Lieutenant Ellen Ripley takes a shot at that Hive Queen, it should just be instantly killed. That's the kind of Easter egg you could put in. Yeah, that there, there actually should be more of that stuff. Make it fictionally appropriate, man. Get us some uh, real aliens, like a Johnny Rico should really be able to kill bugs good. Oh, just looking to kill bugs, sir. That, 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 that's, that's a thing that should exist. All right. Danny DeVito, get off my squad. Also, I forgot to retrain Jamie Lee Curtis. You know what? Before I forget, double forget, triple forget, let's go get Jamie Lee Curtis's AWS training started. I'm trying to find a way to make her useful. I'm convinced sharpshooters can't be as terrible as I think they actually are. Which is a lie. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're every bit as terrible as I think they actually are. But I'm desperate to try and find a way to make them less shitty. It's got to be doable. So Demi Moore, the great one. We got Terry Hulk Hogan. All right. Hulk, uh, Hulkamania. Hulkamania. Check. Hulkamania. Check. I don't see Judy Dench. Um, who, who the hell are you, juggernaut? Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you are? Oh, I'm Roberti, your potential lover. I know you're a special forces operative, and then I got a soft spot for men and women in uniform, but get, get off of my squad. Betty White going to be taking this role over. You know, Betty White, your serpent suit looks maybe the least ridiculous I've ever seen in that particular color scheme. It's not 100% absurd looking. All right, Terry, let's get you fitted out. Why, why do you... Uh, we're waiting, right? We're waiting for a repeater. Personal combat sim, not today. The rest of your loadout does need adjusted. We gotta replace this with the frost bomb, which I'm guessing Clint Eastwood is still clutching to. You can get my frost bomb. You can pry it from my Yeah, 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 yeah. Just here, watch. There you go. It's pride. You happy now, Clint? Are you happy? No, I'm not happy, Pete. I'm mostly just uh, angry. Angry all the time. Now I'm angrier. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Steal a build Bixby line. So, Frost Bomb for you. Dragon Rounds. Sure, why not? Plasma Grenade. Hulk Hogan is ready to run wild, brother. Anybody else need any adjustments, or is the team in? Okay, good, good, good. Oh, we're solid. Let's do this. We've wasted enough time today. I think it's time that the team actually goes out and tries to do something, which is probably based on the duration I'm looking at on the clock timer over here. Maybe kill a couple pods and then call it a day. Operation Buried Gasp. Well, I'll bury a gasp in you. I tried to make that sexual, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I did it. Maybe you'll gasp from me burying my bone in you. You know, it's just, you can't really do it. 
I always try to make every operation sort of vaguely pornographic in nature, but the last two have really been thwarting me. Operation Firewalker and then Operation Buried Gasp. I can't... I don't have the comedic chops to do it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you'll bury your gasp in your pillow while Perfidious Pete is giving you the goods. Oh, you'll be getting some buried gasp there quietly into your pillow softly as I ravage you. This doesn't feel right. Not the ravaging, I'm sure that would feel fantastic. But the, the, uh, I, I, the, the ingredients of a joker there, but uh, I, I don't have any proper proportions. That one needs to go back to the kitchen for a little bit more tinkering, Gordon Ramsay. Any day now, XCOM. Any day. Okay, today is that day. Look at that! Hulkamania leading the charge! Oh, yeah! Why does my Hulk Hogan invariably always turn into the Macho Man Randy Savage? Is it just that the Macho Man was that much better than Hogan? Is that what it ultimately boils down to? The Macho Man was way cooler. I will be really glad when this debuff finally expires. When our increased visibility and detection radius thing goes away. I'm going to be real happy when that happens. Also, where is Betty White? No. Oh, there she is. Dasher and Prancer and Donner and Vixen and Comet and Cupid. And Donner and Blitzen. I think I said Donner twice. Oh, Pete can't even remember the names of the reindeer. Nobody cares about the names of the reindeer. Well, there's our sectoid commander. Where's our target for this data transfer, by the way? And eh, we're still heading in the right way. It's also well guarded because we saw three dudes in there and we do know there is a sectopod somewhere around here. So the question becomes then how do we wanna how do we wanna approach this? Why why can we not get up on top of this? Is this not climbable? What kind of god allows this to happen? You put a jungle gym on the map and you make it not climbable? XCOM. Firaxis 2K, what this is an unholy abomination. This is an affront to God. You make a jungle gym, put it on a playground, and then make it forbidden. What kind of dickery bullshit is that? Hogwash. That's it's just that's absolutely unacceptable. Unacceptable. Well, the question now... Oh, good. We're cover's completely blown and Betty White is standing in the open. Well, fortunately, we're far enough away that these guys still can't see us. That's the only thing we got going for us. And if we go, like, further much at all, we are going to get spotted. So we're going to have to be extraordinarily careful with how we handle this one. That row is safe. I'm going to stay one tile back from that. In fact, you know what? Just overwatch. I'm now extraordinarily concerned that this pod is going to run into us. And we're going to have a bunch of people out in the open and get the holy living bejesus shot out of us. No problem. So no matter what we do, our first turn is going to be a little truncated here. We're not going to be able to go at the enemy as aggressively as we would ordinarily prefer. If you say so. Jimmy Moore is going to rack up, get in position here. Thank God for Betty White. That's all I can really say on this one. Without Betty White, we'd be in a real pickle here. Getting people as close to Harrison Ford as possible will be useful. Because we do you get spotted in that tile? Game says no, but honestly, I don't I don't even want to risk it. Getting people as close to possible as Harrison Ford, because in all likelihood, Harrison Ford's first action next turn is gonna be to give us a little bit of that dank Oscar Mike action. It's time. That's right, brother! Hulkmania! Here it comes! I really want to see the Hulkster get shot and then go into that phase where he like starts breathing real hard and puffing out his cheeks, slapping his own chest. Ah, oh, I so desperately want that to be a thing. So Morgan Freeman, what if we have you just charge these dudes? How many of them are you going to kill? One, two. You get shots at any of them who moves. The robot is not likely to move. Are you going to spawn an additional pod behind that? Um. Well, we can see one of those guys. Game says no. Am I inclined to trust it? In this scenario, yeah, those guys are actually really far away. There could be another pod back here, but we're not going to have any way to know that beforehand. We could scanning protocol, but at the range we're at, not really going to be useful. I say let's just let's just be brazen about it. Let's go for it. I trust Morgan Freeman. He'll get the job done. 
Let's take Freeman in and just... Uh, this is what we pay him for. Let's let him go in and do his damn job. Morgan Freeman spotted, except the jig was already up. Oh. He points right at Morgan Freeman's shotgun. He's like, oh, fuck, it's Morgan Freeman. That's right, you motherfucker. Morgan Freeman come calling, and uh, the bill is due. And you, you piece of shit, are gonna pay. Great shot, Freeman. Well, Pete, I was uh, too busy taunting the sectopod, and as much as I would love that to be a euphemism for masturbation, in this case it is most definitely not a euphemism for masturbation, uh, we ran and gun, though, correct? Did we not? I believe I used a run and gun. Okay, good. So Morgan Freeman kills this mech longbow. Alternatively, bad chance at this guy. Uh, sectoid commander is going to be... What the hell is spinning around your head? He's completely stymied by Morgan Freeman. He's like, fucking Morgan Freeman is coming gunning for us. And now he's terrified, and rightfully so. Betty White, we could burn your cover for some guaranteed damage on this dude, but I would honestly prefer to not do that. Let's hold off on making any decisions in that respect, shall we? Who else has got a chance at this longbow? Any? Oh, he's on Overwatch, though, isn't he? Ah, well then. Morgan Freeman, if he's on Overwatch, I mean, that's pretty much your turn sorted. That will not kill him, but a rapid fire certainly will. That's fine. Let's get rid of this Overwatch then. Didn't even need the second shot. Yet? Yeah, it's pretty good. Morgan Freeman, why are you so insecure? I often wonder why so many of our troops are so desperately insecure. They're constantly asking for us to stroke their egos. Is it because they're Hollywood celebrities? Is that they're like, oh, well, one of the reasons, you know, I became a celebrity is because I really needed the ego boost. That guy's in the open. We're going to have so many people that can take shots at that dude. Uh, Demi could... Harris, hell, even Harrison Ford could stand behind the little frog here and probably get a crack at him. No? Harrison Ford, you can't see him? You could get a shot at him from there, but it won't be a flank shot. Huh. Dane Judy Dench is not going to get a shot at him either. Though. We could Oscar Mike. I mean, we sort of set up for that. But we don't we don't, we don't, we don't really need the Oscar Mike. And also, Dane Judy Dench. You know what? Dane Judy Dench just can't miss shots. Let's just, let's just have her take the shot that can't miss. Go, go pepper somebody, Dane Judy. Want to take a hail of bullets shot at our little sectoid friend? Yeah, he's going to be all the dead then. Eight damage, drilled in the face. Sectoid commander is dead. A whole bunch of intel we neither need nor deserve. Ah, pale bullets here. Also seems potentially useful. Just uh, guaranteed damage on this cat. Let's do that. That came out a little Dr. Seussian, didn't it? Guaranteed damage on this cat. Let's do that. He also is a melee unit, which means Demi Moore would have a chance of potentially killing him. We could run Demi up there and butt plug him just as a safety precaution in case anybody else misses him. Let's see what Harrison Ford can do. He has a shot. It's a fantastically good one. There's no reason. I'm not going to worry about the 1% miss. Yeah. Harrison Ford was never going to miss that shot. Also, we do want to try and get some more kills for Harrison Ford. Anything we can do to bump up his kill total would be helpful. This potentially puts us in danger of being detected, but I think it's probably an acceptable risk. We gotta remember, Betty White is no Bruce Willis. Well, there's our Hive Queen. Oh, and she has a chrysalid soldier with her as well. Beautiful. So like I said, it's important to remember, Betty White is no Bruce Willis. We gotta be real careful here. Demi Moore, I think we kind of want you over in this region. The data transfer, I don't even remember what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to destroy the device? We're supposed to destroy the device. This would have been one mission where bringing Jamie Lee Curtis would have been extraordinarily helpful. We could have her sitting back taking squad sight shots at the device all the way along. All along the watchtower, she could be firing at it. Got it. Prove it. I'm really going to start paying more attention to our actual mission objectives. We're going to put Demi Moore on Overwatch. I'm curious what this chrysalid is going to do. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, you're going to automatically go on Overwatch, even if we just have you move, right? And game says you are not spotted in any of these tiles. I'm not really sure I trust it, but I will have you advance to here. 
Going in Overwatch in place gets us objectively nothing. Betty White, I really need to get a peep in this house, but I'm really concerned about you getting spotted. Also, we don't want to activate that chrysalid. And we also really sort of need to wrap this episode up. It's getting a little long. I spent a great deal of time at the opening intro doing weapon modifications. I'm sorry. Trooper maintenance is a thing that has to be done on occasion, though. And I am going to go ahead and end this one here. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more XCOM 2, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes every single day. And we will try to get back to a little bit of the longer form content. I Just so you know, I am still working with some new recording software. Switched over some of the things that I use recently. I think the quality of the videos, like, visually has gone up a little bit as a result of the Switch. I've been relatively pleased with the output, what it looks like once it's post-rendered. But uh, file sizes are a little larger, and I'm still trying to get, like, a grip on exactly how long I can run one and still make it convenient to render and upload. So we'll see. Still tinkering with the formula a little bit. Always a work in progress. You always want to be improving yourself, right, Sylvester Stallone? Hey, that's right, Pete, and you uh, should maybe consider taking a video editing course at the University of Phoenix Online. I mean, I know you hate editing with your burning passion, which is why you do sort of stream of consciousness commentary and just record everything as it happens, but uh, maybe uh, you could improve the quality of your content if you just uh, invested a little bit of time in yourself and in your dreams, Pete. Invest in yourself. This is what the University of Phoenix Online teaches us. All hail the corporate overlord, the Phoenix Education Group Incorporated, is not liable for the content or responsible for the content of this message. I, Sylvester Stallone, have been paid for this endorsement. What, you got fucking disclaimers now, Sylvester Stallone? Yeah, well, ever since you did your whole, uh, maybe I'm in a cult thing, the uh, legal team at the University of Phoenix Online has advised us that perhaps we should maybe start indemnifying ourselves against, uh, you know, potential lawsuits and litigation. That makes everything you've ever said even more creepy. Yeah, but you know what, Pete, the check still clears you. That's really all I care about. All right, then. Well, I'm out of here. Thanks very much for watching. Maybe consider your, reconsider, rather, any involvement you have with the University of Phoenix Online. And I'll see you again soon.